Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name's Whitney and today I want to do with you guys a full face of nothing new. So I'm just going through my collection, pulling some maybe old favorites, some things that I haven't tried in a while, things that have just been sitting and uh, putting them on my face. So if y'all want to watch that, then just, you know, stay tuned. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you guys subscribe to my channel, click the like button. If you like these videos, check out all my future videos. And uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to go with a little oldie but goodie. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish um, Primer. And I'm just going to take a little bit of that all over the face. It's been a while since I've used this primer. It's very silicone-y. I mean, y'all probably know. Y'all have probably all used this primer. It's like a tried and true. It's very popular. Ooh, I am red as a tomato in the in the in the monitor oh my goodness I match my shirt I hope it's not coming off that red I'm not that red in person so anyway I'm just gonna let that sit on the skin for a minute I'm gonna go wash my beauty blender and I'll be right back okay so now that I have that all taken care of I'm gonna be going in with my um, Estee Lauder double wear foundation and this is in the shade 2c0 cool vanilla oh that is looking quite light I um my husband and I just went on a cruise to the Bahamas in early December and um apparently I got a little bit of color to myself because that is looking like Santa Claus beard all over my face so <laughs> we will make it work with bronzer but that's okay <laughs> this is why it's good to break out old products because they might no longer match you and it might be time to get rid of them but this is a tried and true foundation so I don't know that I would get rid of it I would just maybe mix it or bronze up and really make it work so I love this foundation it's like a full coverage but it's not heavy it's just really nice and um anyway so yeah we went on a vacation we went on a cruise to the Bahamas and it was so nice my sister and her husband watched our kids and uh, it was great. It was a nice little getaway that we needed. If you guys are parents, y'all know, like, you just need to get away sometimes. And although we missed our kids dearly, it was really nice for my husband and I to just get away and spend some time with ourselves. So that was really nice, but apparently got a little bit of color or a little more than this foundation should allow for. <laughs> And y'all know the concealer combination that I'm using right now, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer and the LA Girl Pro Conceal. So let's just throw that on the face. Speaking of vacations, when we went on our cruise, we love cruising. So we've been, we've been a handful of times, probably more than that. And uh, we go out of the port in New Orleans because we live in southern Louisiana. So um, it's just really convenient for us. But we've been on quite a bit of cruises. This one was really nice. It went to the Bahamas. Oh, we love. We went to Nassau. And um, in Nassau, there is this place called Atlantis. If you've never, you know, if you've never been there and never heard of it. And it's like a water park, hotel, casino, spa. It's got like some fish museums. It's, it's just like really, really beautiful. And um, that is the third time that we've been there. And I would love to just go there on a vacation like by itself because, oh my God, but it's, it's a little expensive. I mean, like we only go one day on the cruise. You only go one day into the port and uh, the cruises are relatively inexpensive, but to go there like for a week, say it's, it's quite a few thousand dollars. So, you know, maybe one day we can make it there, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Cause like with the kids, we'll go to Disney world and things like that. But anyway, um, the Atlantis is really nice. They have like this, right? This like, well, we call it a lazy river, but it's not a lazy river. It's called a river rapids. And it's like a wave pool, lazy river combined in one. It is so much fun. It is like the, it's so much fun. Every time we go, we literally just spend like this last time we went, we just spent hours going around this like lazy river wave pool thing. And it is so much fun. So we got a bit of sun in the weather, even though it was early December, the weather was beautiful. It was like in the, the low 70s and it had a little bit of a wind, but it was, it was, I couldn't have asked for anything better for it being December. So I was very happy and very thankful. Now it is to get into the water parks a little pricey, like just for the two of us to get into the water park, like transportation to get in a locker and food was like 300 bucks. So you know, I mean, that's for like five hours of fun. So <laughs> I mean, for me, that's a little pricey, but it is well worth it. And um, we would do it over and over again. So yeah, that's why I have a little bit of color on my face, but we're just gonna roll with it. And um, when we were on the cruise boat, 
I'm just going in with this milk powder for to set my concealer. Um, when we were on the cruise boat, we we like to play in the casino and we really never gamble except for like when we go on cruises. We used to when we before we had kids, like you know, maybe go have dinner and gamble, but since we have three kids, it just doesn't happen like that anymore. But when we go on cruises, we like to go to the casino. But, you know, I mean, you can't spend all your time there because then you won't have no money. Like, we don't play heavy. We don't play heavy-handed. We just go to, you know, have a little fun. And so um, we were in the casino, but, like, there were times where we're like, okay, we can't be in here anymore. So we would just go back. And on a cruise ship, like, there's stuff to do, but sometimes you find yourself with nothing to do and you're like well what now like I've already eaten all the food I've had the ice cream I went and saw a show like what am I supposed to do now so we would go back to our room and know you dirty birds <laughs> we would watch home they have like cable tv and at home we don't really have we don't ha we don't have cable we just do like Netflix and Hulu and things like that and so they had HGTV <sighs> was mama watching HGTV on her cruise. Yes, she was. I was having so much fun watching HGTV. We were watching like Property Brothers and it was just so much fun because we're thinking about maybe selling our house and building or buying a new house in the future. And uh, it was just so much fun watching those HGTV shows. Like I freaking loved it. So yeah, on my cruise, on, my, on our vacation, we watched HGTV and you know, went on a cruise. So anyway, that was so much fun. Next, I'm going in with this L'Oreal Infallible to set my face. Anyway, so since we've been back, I um I have gone through quite a few shows. We finished watching Superstore and we're waiting for the next season to come out. Superstore, Superstore. And we're waiting for the next season to come out. Uh, we love that show. I know I mentioned it before. And um, so I was on Netflix and I was browsing and they have a show that popped up called Glow Up. I know y'all are makeup lovers because y'all are here watching this and um it was pretty fun it had some really great artists on there and it's so funny because Nikki Tutorials was a guest judge and like I just I don't know I wasn't expecting it and neither were the contestants and it was just really fun on one of the episodes she was so it was um it was a really great show and I watched the it was just one season and I watched the entire season in like a day and a half so yeah all right, so next up is bronzer, and I'm going in with this Wet n Wild, but it's really a Franken bronzer right here of the Lorac Tantastic and this Wet n Wild one. I'll just throw this on the on the contour areas, bronze up the skin a little bit, get some color and some life back to me. So, what do you guys have been up to? Do y'all take vacations without your children? That's one thing that I wanted to find out because, and I'm curious about because like my sister and her husband they don't have children so like they're the perfect babysitters and they love our kids to death like our kids are their kids and so when we go it's like I can leave my kids I, of course I still worry and I miss them but like I trust my sister and her husband like wholeheartedly to take care of our children and so not I we me and my husband both trust them to take care of our children but sometimes when I say to like my coworkers or you know oh we're going on a vacation without the kids sometimes people are like what you're going on a vacation without your children and I'm like yeah I need a break you know does anyone else feel that way because I feel like sometimes people are like oh no once you have kids you can't do anything that's just for you and I don't agree with that I think parents need time away from their children just like children need time away from their parents like just to miss each other to get a chance to relax to you know a new experience and so I'm just curious do y'all take vacations without your children because we do we've taken a, we've taken a handful this is our well, we went on a cruise last year in December we went on a cruise this year in December so this is our second time with both of the kids being here and we've taken a vacation so I think two times in one in two years is not that big a deal once a year to get away I think parents deserve that. Anyway, anyway, too much, too much. So, all right, eyebrows. Of course, let's go in with the tried and true e.l.f. brow pencil. And I'm probably just going to speed through the brow process because if I'm talking through it, it'll take me like a million times longer than if I just do it. So we'll put on, I'll try and put on a little music while I do this.
how I'm feeling right now, but we'll see after everything's done, you know, if it works. <laughs> I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, of course, to prep my eyes. And this used to be a tried and true favorite, but lately I've just been feeling like it. Prime eye primer is not really a necessity for me. The concealer and powders work just fine. So once I run through all of my eye primers, which you guys know will take me forever because you saw how many I have if you watch my collection videos, um, I don't know that I'm going to buy any because I just don't know that I really see a need for it anymore in my collection at this point, at this point in my life. I don't know if I really see, I mean, I'm using them, but you know, is it worth it? And of course you guys know the Ulta, um, creamy shadow to set the primer. And I've heard people say like, it's like a big debate. Do you set your primer or do you leave it for your shadows to stick on to? Do you set it with one base shade or do you leave it tacky and set your color directly on it? I've heard back and forth. I always set my primer and I never have trouble with my eyeshadows lasting. And it doesn't matter what brand eyeshadow I'm using. If it is high end, low end, drugstore, expensive, shimmer, matte. I don't have trouble. The way that I prep my eyes right now is the way I always do it. And I never have trouble with the way that my eyeshadow sticks to my eyelids my eyelids and the way it lasts throughout the day. So that's just my piece about it. I always like to set. So of course today we're going in with our one month one palette challenge. This is my Sugar Pop by Too Faced. I think I'm going to do um, definitely some more color like bright colors. So we'll see. Let's see what I want to play with. And nothing in this palette is going to match this red shirt that I'm wearing but that's okay because I'm really just staying home right now. We just went to a basketball game for my son and we came home so you know, I'm just doing makeup and having fun and playing around. So it doesn't matter if it matches my shirt. I thought I was going to play around with the pink shade in here, but that turquoise blue is like really calling my name. So let's just go for it. Why not? I love color and uh, we're doing turquoise. So let's zoom y'all in a little bit so that way y'all can see what's going on. I'm going to go into that blue turquoise shade and I'm just going to put this all over my lid. Well, in the crease. Oh, look at that pigmentation. Come on. This, this palette is so old. Look at that pigmentation. Mm, I love it. And I'm taking it all the way to the inner and I'm really buffing it up to my brow bone. Really blowing it out all the way to the edge of my eyebrow out here. And shout out to Liz. You know, she asked for some color from this palette. So girl, this is for you. This is for you, Liz. <laughs> and I know some people when they play with color, like they'll just, oh, pop it in the lower lash line and, and that's their color. No, no. I like color. Like this color on my eyes. Look at it. Ooh, I love this color right here. Oh my God, this is just speaking to me. In fact, you know what? I think I'm gonna pack this on the lid too because I'm just feeling this color so hard right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on the lid too. And if y'all can see, I did not tap off my brush right here and so I did get a little bit of fallout, but I'm just taking my powder brush and very lightly whisking that away. Oh my god like i'm so in love look at this shadow holy moly i don't even know what to do with this i'm so impressed okay <laughs> i am i'm gonna take it under the lower lash line too i'm not playing i'm bringing it all the way to the inner corner because i just love i mean i am just having fun with this shade look at this okay so i'm gonna dab into the chocolate shade color called malted milk ball and i'm gonna start working this in the outer corner so I wanted to deepen it up a little bit, but I really don't want a lot of pigmentation. And so I just want to bring a little bit of depth and dimension to the eye. And this shade is a shimmery shade, but it um, it's not overly pigmented, as y'all can see. So hopefully you can tell it's not overly pigmented. It's just bringing some depth and dimension. So I'm just putting this right here in the outer crease and kind of bringing it down a little bit to the lash line. And then really buffing it out. And then of course taking that original brush with no additional product and just buffing out the edges. And this shade Malted Milk Ball is one of those shades where it goes on very, very light. And then all of a sudden you like, so you start like packing it on. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, pigment. <laughs> so you got to be pretty careful because if you want a light look like this, like just something to add a little bit of depth and dimension. You got to be real careful because it will show up pigment all of a sudden. And I'm just going to build that up between both eyes until I'm satisfied. 
Okay, so that added like just the right amount of depth to the outside of the um, crease and uh, just really brought this eye look together. So <sighs> I'm feeling like I might top some glitter on this eye look in a minute, but let's go with, we're going to go with peach fuzz and I'm going to put that on the brow bone and in the inner corner. And this is more of a matte base that has just some glitter in it, some shimmery glitter particles. So because the rest of this look is matte and I might put some glitter on, I don't mind using it. I'm not really a fan of matte shades that have just straight glitter in them because the glitter doesn't stay. Like this glitter is just flying around everywhere. It's not staying. It's not, you know, but the base shim the base matte shade is pretty nice, especially for the brow bone. So it works really well. I'm just not a huge fan of all that glitter. So what do we think about these eyes? I feel like it's missing something. It's missing something. Okay, so I pulled out these two lovely products. This is a liquid liner from Stila, and this is the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter. And um, I think I'm gonna attempt a wing with this. I never use these colorful liners, but they're really nice. I don't even think Stila makes these anymore, but I know like there are different brands that have them. And uh, let's just go in and do a wing. And uh, you, I don't think I'm gonna be able to talk through this, so we'll see. I'm just gonna take it oh yes can y'all see can you see that oh my god that's so pretty it's got it's got glitter in it man i miss these okay i'm gonna do a very dramatic wing that's what this look needed it was a very dramatic wing i hope y'all can see on camera how beautiful this is And I'm really layering this glitter on because I'm this liner on because I want the opacity of this teal shade to really come through. And then I went real thin on that inner corner. Look at that. Oh, yes. Okay, let's see if I can match it on the other side. Okay, I've been messing around with this liner for a minute. And uh, hopefully they're even. And you can see how beautiful that liner is. I... This liner just took this look to a new level and I am very happy with it. Okay, so this is kind of a blush. This is the very old, very uh, aged uh, Becca and Jaclyn Hill palette. This is the very first one that they came out with. And this is supposed to be three highlighters. Um, you have Pearl, Champagne Pop, and this is Blush Copper. This Blush Copper shade, of course, would never work on me as a highlight, but I love to use this as a bronzer blush shade so that is what i'm going to use right now is this this blush copper shade and it is very pigmented so i'm going to go in with a nice fluffy brush i barely tap in and then use that as a bronzer blush and it gives me a nice sheen as well which i love and i have to really work it in because like i said it's a bit dark for me darling why did i just say that <laughs> so anyway back to my you know, we went on vacation. Um, I love going on vacation at the end of the year because it's super relaxing, but um, it puts me so far behind with Christmas. And I have to be quiet when I speak about this because my six year old out there, but I am so far behind with Christmas and um, it stresses me out a little bit because, you know, I want everything to be perfect, but I know, you know, it is what it is. But this year we're trying something where um, my husband and I decided that we're not going to stress out and we're just gonna do a pretty minimal oh that is looking crazy on the monitor but in person it looks beautiful i'm looking real dark on this monitor and it's that window behind me i know it is i really need to change this setup but i just don't know how i'm gonna rearrange this room so anyway i really need to rearrange my room but i just don't know how to there's no way for me to get my desk in front of that window because of the way that the room is situated in the walls and the doors and everything <sighs> So we just have to kind of deal with it. I might get some blackout curtains because I think that that would help a lot, but we'll see. Oh, so let's go ahead. Highlight, 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 highlight. Let's see. Oh, oldie but goodie. Good old Mary Luminizer. Mm, I love this shade. Look at it. Whoo, that is stunning. Stunning. So I'm going to add this to my inner corners and then I'm just going to dust this all over my face. So anyway, yeah, back with Christmas. I am um, trying to do like a less is more approach because our kids are still young 
um, six and almost two. And if they learn nail that, you know, it's more about this, the, the spirit of the holiday and not the gifts, then that's what we want. So before I do my mascara and finish off the look, I'm going to go in, of course, of course, with my oldie but goodie, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. Um, I do have to say that I did purchase the Morphe Setting Spray, and so that's new to me, so I'm not going to use it in this video, but I love it. I love it. I think that it set my makeup beautifully. I think that the price is cheaper than the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray and I can use coupons from Ulta on it. I love the Continuous Mist. The only thing is that when I use it, I notice that it gets on like my, this area a lot, this area a lot as well as my face. Whereas with the spritzer, I can exactly where I want it. But that's the only thing. Other than that, I really like it and I don't know. It might be replacing my Urban Decay. What do you guys think? Have y'all tried it? I waited so long. It was like, I don't, no, 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 no. I don't have a lot for Morphe. And uh, I was like, I don't need that. I don't need that. But then like, I was like, mm, I'm going to try it. So I did. And whew, I like it. Let's finish off these eyes. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever Aqua Eyes Eyeliner in black. I don't know. Do they make the Aqua, aqua Liners anymore? They, um, oh Lord. They um, reformulated, and I don't know if they call them the same thing. I don't have a favorite eyeliner. I don't have a preference. Eyeliner is eyeliner. I mean, some are better than others because of, like, the pigmentation and longevity of them. Mm -hmm. This uh, eyelash curler is so old. I really need a new one. This is the Tarte um, eyelash curler, and I, oh, God, oh, God, I had, I had eyeliner on that. Oh, uh, it stuck. It stuck a little. And, um, oh, Jesus, and I really love this eyelash curler as I'm ripping out eyelashes, <laughs> but, um, it's so old and, uh, I really need a new one. So do y'all think that I should get, um, you know, just a new Tarte one or are there other eyeliners, eyeliners, eyelash curlers that you guys prefer? Let's bring it back old school with my Lancome Hypnose Drama. This is my all time favoritest most favorite forever mascara Lancome Hypnos Drama this crazy looking wand is just I love it I love it I'm not gonna use any primer today I probably should but that's okay I'm just gonna go right in I love this mascara this crazy wand grips every single one of my lashes it just coats them beautifully it separates them it lengthens them this is just the ideal mascara for me and it has been for years now don't get me wrong i will use whatever i have whatever mascara i have but this is a tried and true lancome hypnose drama i recommended this to so many people now a lot of people don't like the wand i get it but i just say give it a chance you might really enjoy it i love it and i'm going to show you all a close-up Y'all can see how many, you know, I'm just kind of going over. This is what I would consider a first coat. Oh, and there's my little one yelling and screaming for me. So hopefully you can tell. Oh, these are just, look at that. It's hard to see with the liner, but nothing. Lashes. Hopefully y'all can tell. In person, it's really pretty. And then you all know from my bottom lashes, the Rimmel Lash Accelerator. I haven't seen this in stores. I don't know if they still sell it anymore. I'm savoring. I think this, I think I have one more tube left. So I'm savoring this. But my other go to for lower lash line is the MAC Extended uh, Giga Black. The MAC Giga Black um, in the blue bottle, the mascara. It looks just like the wand is like really teeny tiny, just like this one. And uh, that one's wonderful too. This one's just drugstore and that one's not. I am loving this look. So last but not least is going to be the lips. And I did not prep anything on my lips. So I think I need to do something a little hydrating, a little moisturizing. Let's see. I'm going to, but I'm going to keep it nice and neutral. And I'm going to go in because the eyes obviously are so bold. And I want to keep it nice and neutral, but glossy and moisturizing and plumping. So I'm going to go in with this Buxom Lip Gloss. Or is this a lip polish? 
in the shade Sandy. No liner, just a basic nude lip. Mm -hmm. Look at this, look. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Takes just the natural pigmentation on my lips, enhances it, Get that icy cold feeling. I'm not gonna lie, when I wear these out in public, if my hair is down, forget it. Hair is in it, it is a mess, it's, it's crazy. But, but, so worth it. And it is so pretty. Well, I hope y'all are getting the full effect of this. Look at the shimmer of the cheek. The pout gloss of the lip gloss. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. I am happy with this look. So, that's it guys. We are all done uh, with this full face of nothing new. Some of my old favorites, some of my still favorites. And uh, yeah, I really love the way that this look turned out. Um, I use my Too Faced Sugar Pop Palette, which is my palette of the month right now, my one month month palette. And uh, yeah, I am loving the way that this looks. So let me just show you guys. Mm. Yep. <laughs> I hope you guys really enjoyed the way this look turned out. I really enjoyed filming it for you. And um, that's it. I hope you guys subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.